Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, it's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva, and I'm coming to you with another quick review on some lenses that I purchased from Pixter. In the description bar, please open that up because I will have a link there to the video that I watched that made me really think about purchasing these items here. Now this is the box that it comes in. It is a it is a three pack um, of these lenses that you see here. And you have the grand angle, the fish eye, and the macro. And the macro is a little hard for me to be able to give you detailed on how to use it only because it's best for like outside for items like raindrops and flowers and ants and things like that to give you a real close-up and that's this one right here however on my cell phone I'm going to try to show you what these two will look like and I have recorded some video so I could decide which one will look the best for this so Pixter is from the UK and you can use this on your Android and Apple phones this is the set that you will get you will get three lenses that you see here you will also get the lens caps that come with them and on the back side there is lens caps as well and I think that is wonderful you will get a cloth to clean your lenses a little sticker if you choose to use that um, the bag to hold all of your lenses it's a drawstring bag so that you can take them with you <coughs> excuse me you also get the clip now this clip here on the opposite side you can put the lenses here and it just presses together and that's how you will clip it on to your phone I will definitely show you that and then you get uh, the user manual here and uh, like I said it is from the UK and down there you see the British flag that they have there uh, let me see if I can find it they have contact information on the back and maintenance to let you know how to use it and then you have the how to use macro it pretty much shows you how to use that uh, how to place the lens on there and you can also follow them on Instagram as well okay so I'm gonna move these two out of the way when you open the box it's going to come in a box like this the lenses fit in these uh, slots here and then the clip fits here and this comes out and underneath this little piece here because it comes out as well that's where you will find the rest of these items as well as the user manual so this is something really good to hang on to um, if you don't want to keep them in the bag that comes with it so I have my cell phone here and um, I have to have it on the charger <laughs> because my battery is kind of low but first let me show you how to clip them on so here is your clip right here and on the inside this piece right here has a little bit of felt on it so it will not scratch your phones and the other side is rubberized and this piece here it uh, moves back and forth so it can fit to your phone properly right here 
is where you have the area to screw on your lenses. So the first one that I'm going to show you is the grand angle. So hopefully some of the video that I have taken, I can show you that a little bit uh, before we move on to the next. You take off this piece here, it just slides off. And then my suggestion would be is to take the cloth and wipe off the lens, front and back. And that's what I'm gonna do, so you don't have any fingerprints on there. Then without touching it, you wanna take this and screw it on to the clip. And it's very, very easy to do. And I'm doing it with my left hand. So it's very easy to do. Let me switch to the right so I can get it on there properly. It fits on there tight. As you can see, it's not coming off. And this is what it will look like once it has been applied. Okay, so let me go to my camera setting on my phone and uh, let's see as you can see I am showing you the table sorry for the glare and what you want to do is flip it over if you're using the rear facing camera and you just want to slide it on over the top of your camera now, when you flip it back over, you want to make sure that you get it on there properly. Now, this particular one is going to show you a wider range. So, if I do it like this, you can actually see me back here in the chair talking about this. So, you can see me with this particular lens. If I remove it, you, you only see part of me before you saw more of me. So while I have it there, I'm gonna have it like this and I'm going to slide it back on. This is me doing it without being able to see. And now you see more of my body within the lens. So this is going to be perfect for me when I go on my cruise and I want to take video and get a wide range of what it's going to look like. And within the camera you can see me and um, <laughs> this here and let me post a video showing you what that's going to look like. So stay this lens gives you a wider range and like I said this is perfect for uh, being outside taking wide uh, wide view videos of your family of your friends being able to have more within the screen than you would with your regular cell phone or a handy cam so I'm just going to take the lid here and put that back on and that's what it's going to look like when the lens is fully closed okay so i'm going to move that out the way and then i'm going to take the next one and the next one is called fish eye and with this one from fish eye you're going to get a more close-up but you're also going to have it within a circle. So the outer perimeter is going to be darker and you're going to get more of a picture close to the middle. This too also has 
the little cap for the back and I'm going to wipe it off okay and I'm going to do that put it on and now I'm going to get my phone and go to the camera settings here we are once again with the camera and I'm going to slide it on and I believe I was going to use this Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow palette just to kind of show you what it's going to look like now that's what it looks like from the phone itself and now I'm going to slide this on there you are as you can see it is more close up you can still see me because of the angle that I have um, you can see that the outer perimeter of it is darkened and you have more of a close-up view directly in the middle I think this is going to be good for like beauty pictures um, you can also use it for front facing but I'm showing you based on the back and I think this is going to be the best one for my beauty pictures okay so stay tuned and watch this little clip that I have for this video thank you for watching that clip uh, this is what the lens looks like it is very small nice and weighty I do like these I have to use them more I'm not a photographer but I wanted to have some better pictures for um, YouTube as well as just my family's journey so I'm gonna put the lens cover on that and that's what it looks like and with this last one this last one is called macro m-a-c-r-o I'm going to do my best let's move these out of the way to try to show you what this does now it was very hard for me when I took um, a clip of it so I just deleted that hopefully you can see me while I make mistakes try to get this to look as best as possible I have this flower here and it is for items like this uh, very close up very detailed so we're going to see how this is going to work so I'm going to take the clip off the back and I'm going to clean the lens the front and the back then I'm just going to screw it on like you do all the rest very easy to do you can also just put the lens cover on here like that and just clip it to your pants or anything like that on the inside and you know just take it off and it is ready to use okay so let me go to my camera settings we have that once again now it's going to look quite blurry in the beginning it's going to look very blurry but we're going to see uh what we can do if the video that I'm doing now doesn't work for you like I said 
please check the description bar. I have a link to the Pixter video uh, letting you know more information about these and a video that I watched that gave me the green light to say it was something worthwhile me purchasing. All right, so I'm just going to, let's see, have it like that. I'm going to slide it on. Like I said, it's going to be quite blurry. Turn the flower over. Okay. I'm trying not to give you a glare. Now this one is a little bit harder to do. Maybe if I use it for the leaf. Okay. To come in a little closer and so this one like I said this is the one that I am going to have to try to see how I can work this one out because like I said it is quite blurry it is for more detailed okay so that is the inside of the flower it may just look like a blob to you at the moment, but this is what that does. It's not really good for wide range uh, pictures or anything like that. And I'm just bringing it closer and closer. All right, you should be able to see inside the flower. And I have it quite close. Okay, so I understand that. Let's say I see um, a little butterfly on a tree or on a leaf. If I can get close to it, then I should be able to take a beautiful picture with that. So this is the inside of the flower. All right, so I just wanted to come in quickly and let you know about the Pixter, let's cut that off, about the Pixter lenses, I really do, I don't love them, not as of yet because they are new to me, but I really am grateful that I picked these up. I am a gadget girl and this is a product that's going to allow me as I work with it to become better with my pictures. You know, practice makes perfect and that is why I picked it up. Last but not least, once again, check the description bar. Let me know what you think of these lenses. If it's something that you may be interested in, um, you can buy the lenses separately, but I purchased uh, the starter kit pretty much, and it was $54 when I purchased it. So yeah, links to everything will be below. Please ask your questions below. Watch the two videos that I will have links to. And that is the end of the video. To all be blessed, wear your makeup, save your money, and Nunu will see you in a few days with the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, oh.